All right guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lee, Ben's holding the camera today. This is the E46 that I picked up a few months ago now. I've only just found out it's been in a massive accident and today we're gonna find out exactly how bad. <laughs> So obviously when you buy a car you do a check on it, it only costs a few pounds. I did that on this car but it come back as clean, not on the database and the reason being is the guy that had the accident he fixed it himself and he didn't actually go through the insurance. It is a manual coupe. When I picked this car up it was the cheapest in the country at £9,800 and the reason it was cheap it's done 159000 and 25 miles so basically 160,000 miles and on a 3.2 litre straight six surely it's not actually too bad. I've done some subtle upgrades. I've done the front brakes with the blue calipers. I've also changed the clutch and flywheel to sacks. The clutch is very heavy at the moment, which I'm not too keen on. In daily driving, it's a bit of a ball ache to be honest. And the biggest problem with these E46 M3s is where the subframe attaches to the car, it actually cracks. But I had that done at QFAB a few months ago now, so at least that's the big problem fixed. For anyone that's not watched the previous videos, this is where the damage is. So it's under there somewhere. We've got the lads from Ivis and they're gonna tell us if it's scrap or not. So we inspect vehicles for all manner of different things. Anything from pre-purchase to court cases, looking for damage that's already been sustained or um, checking vehicles to make sure it's safe for, for road use. We'll be having a look around the, the damaged area today. We'll have an, an overall view of the car as well, find any, any damage that's yeah, been left yeah, or right. if it's been, been repaired. repaired. to a good standard. We are independent. Not bothered about the buyer, the seller, yeah, the company. That's the thing, not yeah. that's where this job sort of is thankless in a lot of ways. Somebody ultimately is going to be happy and somebody ultimately is always going to be sort of sometimes a bit disgruntled. We're not biased to either our corporate clients. Or... Not biased to whoever's paying your bill, no? No, basically <laughs> no. Uh, that, and that is the genuine fact of it. Obviously yeah. all our reports are CPR compliant. Uh, any one of our reports at any time can be called up to court. So obviously we ultimately have to uh, stand up in front of a judge and justify why we've made that decision. When we've done the inspection on this today, we'll be grabbing the photos, we'll put that in a written document for you. If the, the car's been repaired well and we can't find any issue, obviously that would help should you ever come to sell it. You can say, look, we've had it inspected. They can always check that report with us as well. All the reports are reference numbered. If it is poorly repaired and it's going to need some major work and it's not worth doing. They will give you this, 200 quid for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you were pursuing a seller, um, as we would generally sort of come out in this instance, you could use our report then to take that further to the next sort of claim process, whether that's to the courts or however you want to do, basically it's evidenced. All our advice is initially free. We don't charge, do we, for a consultation, which sets us apart from other companies as well that will just sell you a service. So if I just bought this car from, yes. on Autotrader yeah. and I said, can you just check it over, make sure it's all legit and straight and me, yeah. how, how, roughly how much would that be? I would say probably around 150, 200 pounds plus that, depending obviously on vehicle, what's wrong with it sort of thing yeah. and, and obviously where in the country it is. Yeah. Um, well, that could possibly save somebody thousands of pounds really, couldn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean... You'd go and buy a dog, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, mentioning, yeah. mentioning no names um, whatsoever, <laughs> but, you know, potentially has bought a bit of a, a, a bit, bit of a, a shed here, yeah. A bit of a dog, yeah. <laughs> what we've got here is a paint depth meter. Manufacturer paint is usually a couple of hundred microns thickness, so what it does is it measures the distance between the um, magnet in the end of here to the metal beneath the paint. In some places we're getting readings of 1,300. Okay, so it's clearly been a painted over Yeah, it's got quite paint. a lot of body filler in right. there. That that bit there, I'm not actually getting a reading on that. And that's because it's, it's not coming back off any metal, it's yeah, coming back it's off filler? just body filler, yeah. It's no longer level and it should be sat a bit further down there, but it's distorted the plastic from the, the impact on this side. There's also, on the top of the wing where it's secured, um, you can see it's been cut round the bolts. Yeah. Um, this bit should actually be straight and flat. Yeah. Um, there's lots of body filler marks. There's like another another cut. Yeah, there another cut there. there. Um, and the paint's all flaked off up here. So right. I think the worst part of the damage sustained in a collision is to this part here. Okay. So um, a new wing painted, that'll sort that bit out. Yeah, that'll sort that Cosmetic, bit out cosmetically. Yeah. Yeah. Underneath the inner wing and all the sealer and everything looks genuine. Okay. Um, so that I don't think has been damaged in the collision. So structurally, it seems okay. Um, whereas the cosmetic side, it's, it's quite a poor finish, really. The sort of orange peel. There's effect. misshapen as well. Oh, the arch yeah, is misshapen. There is also some blistering starting as well. Like. Yeah. I don't know if that'll pick up on. Yeah, and there's little things under the bonnet, sort of. The shields are all loose, they should have clips in. Minor complication that. Yeah, yeah, they're easily sortable. <laughs> That'll probably be what your rattle is, mate. Don't look at me, I'm, I'm well upset now. <laughs> uh, right. There is also a 
filler in the uh, A pillar. That is more structural, that isn't it? It is, so but it there's is. not a lot of filler, to be right, honest. Okay. You can just see sort of the, the blemishes there where yeah. the paint's reacted, where they've painted over the top, but we're only getting sort of 100 microns too much on this part on of the, the uh, A pillar. Um, the spot welds and everything as well are all original. Some paint edges on them, but all the spot welds are intact. They've never been sort of drilled and plugged or anything like that. Yeah. With regards to structural, regards to the A-pillar of the turret and the inner wing, I don't think it's ever had any major sort of issue. So at the end of this inspection, this is going to make me decide whether I want to keep the car or do something else with it. It might be that badly repaired that it just needs to be stripped down for parts. Another telltale on these as well, when they've had um, sort of chassis leg repairs and stuff as well, is obviously, the original VIN um, is stamped and yep. that is the original protective sticker over it. Okay. So that's never been painted. On the other side as well, the original sticker's still there. Yep. It's not a remanufactured copy. Um, so again, that's uh, all legit. that inner wing is all original. You've got your stamp there as well. And there's no evidence that sort of any major refinishing or rework that's been done. Rear of the vehicle as well is all original as well. You've had the battery train stuff out where they do corrode on these. Yeah. It's all original, obviously that's an original sound editing pad. Um, <laughs> there is a little bit of a telltale evidence that someone has been playing some bits of fixings and stuff like that that have obviously been there a while. Yeah. But you see these spot welds here, yeah. they're all original, they've never been drilled, they've never been plugged, they've never had any additional seam sealer over okay. the top. Same on this side and the same on the rear quarter panels as well. Yeah, uh, that's so these all are all original. spot on as yeah. well. All this matte finishing here, um, it's all original. Uh, you can see the tailgate is still original as well. Uh, yeah. I think we did find a date stamp somewhere, 02, which is consistent with the build year of the vehicle. Again, another telltale sign on them is in the filler neck and in the filler cap. And again, yeah. that's never been split or anything. It's never had a filler neck in. Obviously, the, the seal is perishing and cracking, but again, it's 20 years old. There's no evidence that it's had any major sort of repair on the rear. It has been painted, I would say. It's probably had near enough a full respray, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah Whether that's been a full respray or in stages, uh, but there's various areas of paint edging. You've got yeah. some paint uh, lacquer sure. loss there. And um, there's paint edges on the seal there. Damage to that seal as well. Yeah, I think we have got a new one of these. Yeah. I think. Um, and there's paint edging just down the uh, the edge of the screen seal there. Um, Where's this? Where am I looking here? I can't see that. I don't know if the camera will be able to pick this up, but we'll give it a go. There's one thing with this car that's like a brand new, right? <laughs> Look at this. His tool kit. The tool kit. You tell this has never been used. Look at that. And it's all all intact. No, it's not. What's missing here? What's that? Locking wheel nut. Probably. Right. Well, that, so that's got to that, be rare. That's got to be rare. <laughs> even on this, that's surely. not fully intact, is it? Yeah, it's nearly, isn't it? <laughs> There's going to be stuff on that car apart from this wing. They're going to find something else just because it's Evil GT. And some one of you guys said, why has everything got to be negative on Evil GT? Well, it just goes wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'm very sorry to tell you, yeah. but it's not good news. We found some cosmetic repair on the near side front, as we expected. The repair's all right on that side, to be honest. The paint finish is good. Small areas of body filler, as expected. But then we found quite a lot of evidence on this side, the, the offside front or driver's side, to suggest that there's been a heavy impact on this side. So he got it wrong, he, he, he said it was that side, where really it's this side. It well done, more. mate. Listen, it, <laughs> was a, it was a 50-50 chance, wasn't it? It's not the best repair, um, to be honest, it's quite a lot of body filler. But the worst part, I think, is going to be the most expensive and time-consuming part, is we've found quite a lot of corrosion to the rear floor, and it moves. Do you know that question people was asking, am I selling this car? <laughs> yeah, I'm selling it now. <laughs> That's made sale. me mind up. 50 on, quid or nearest let, offer. Let's have a look at the bad news. It's quite a lot of corrosion around that there. To be honest with you, it's not actually secure that. What is it? It's just a, a bung, just a, a blanking bung. Right, okay. Uh, but it's obviously the water's sat round it, it's corroded the floor. Yeah. And it's, it's all moving. Um, oh. So yeah, it's going to want quite a bit of welding round here. Brilliant. Basically, what the lads have said there is this is in no way an exaggeration. The back end of your car is just flapping around. Okay, with that news then, Auto Trader is <laughs> or eBay? <laughs> well, eBay's all the same. I'm, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure there's a um, scrapyard just just down there on the left. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Are you regretting your decision now to invite these guys along to look at your car? Uh, in a way, yes, but no. <laughs> uh, no disrespect, guys. Thanks for coming anyway. Thanks for no looking problem. at the car. So I've got a dilemma now. What do we do with the car? If it was yours, what would you do? <laughs> well, <laughs> if, it well mine, if it was mine, it would probably be already going over the bridge at EMR. But <laughs> so, so you're saying scrap it? No, it, it's not that bad to be honest with you. Um, yeah. The the cosmetic stuff could be better. 
there's a little bit of welding that needs doing but at the end of the day it is a 20 year old car and it is only going up in value yeah. you've actually just devalued this <laughs> car now you know what I mean this so. one we have yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just before you guys go have you seen something yeah we, we were just having a look and, and admiring the uh, the vehicle and uh, yeah found a couple of bits what right there no it's not <laughs> that's bang that on. on I smashed that mate I mean, look at it. What's up with that? It's not even straight. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it not is. Not quite central. It yeah, doesn't exactly. go. It doesn't go right to the edges. The professionals have said it's listen, not quite central. Listen, listen. Don't in. don't start on my car now just because yours is an absolute heap. So thanks to the guys from Ivis. Link is in the description. And off camera, I did get you guys a little bit of a discount. I don't know how much, but if you click the link there, you can see and uh, go through the services, and they'll come out. They do all the UK. Uh, as with this car, there's a link for the report as well, so you can go and have a look to see what would actually be sort of like the way the report is laid out so go and have a look at that as for this car now i'm none the wiser really because i still don't really know whether to keep it i mean what do you guys think Sh what should i do with it i need some inspiration in the comments do i keep it do i fix that rust do i make it into a fast road slash track car do i strip it for parts how much is all the parts going to be worth how much is that engine worth 160,000 miles who knows so the car does stand me maybe around 13,000 pounds will i get that money back what do you think i should do to it I think you should continue with the OEM Plus theme. You put big brakes on it, you sorted out the subframe thing, I think you should fix the floor, make sure the engine's running right, do something with that clutch. There must be some sort of release bearing pressure plate thing you can put on it to make it a bit easier for daily driving. Enjoy driving the car again, and if you still then at that point think, do you know what, no I do want to change, at least you can sell it, get decent money for it, and then move on. Thanks for that mate, please subscribe to the channel. Please do, click the subscribe, click the bell, click like, comment, Tell Doris what you want him to do with the car. Doris, probably have the same. It's Dozer, isn't it? Dozer. Dozer, uh, Tell mate. him what you want him to do with the car. It'll probably be the same as me, because obviously you are all intellectual, intelligent people. And we can all move on with our lives. See you next week. Bye-bye.